Hello, and welcome to the expanded avatar hand interactions integration guide. This video will serve a purpose where that purpose is to guide you towards integrating this prefab into your avatar. You will, of course, first need to uh, import the VRC SDK, the latest one. You will need a, a 3.0 avatar. You will also need Piomi shaders. And then you will need to import the expanded avatar hand interactions package. Additionally, you will need the avatar 3.0 manager, but that will be linked in the readme which you will find in here by clicking on the readme. Alternatively, you'll find it's, uh, you, might, you may be able to find this in, the, in this video's description or in the download page. All right, let's begin. So I already have the, all these things imported. Now we open this. This is the avatar that I have. What you want to do is you want to drag the EHI prefab into the TV, well, into your avatar's root. This will be your, your root avatar. It's going to have a different name, of course. So right click this, unpack prefab, done. Now these are haptic constrainers. Uh, so just let's let's open the first one. You see it says LH, which means left hand. So we want to go to the armature over here. Some avatars have different naming schemes for the, the hand bone. But what we're trying to do right here is we're trying to find the left hand that the first the left hand bone. In some avatars, this will be called left wrist but it depends on the region some regions have different sch naming schemes so we drag the first hand uh, the first bone that is connected to the hand in most cases it's left wrist but in this case for this avatar which is a japanese avatar i believe it's left hand all right so drag left hand to these constraint settings of these ha haptics constrainer and now we go for the next one which should be for the right hand as you can see so we just drag the right hand bone into this. Now you can see, you can see those things moved up. Right, now for the fine tuning phase, in here you just wanna essentially drag all three, all three of these things and make sure that it fits properly. You can, al you can always adjust the receivers to make it fit even better, but for the sake of this tutorial, this should be sufficient. At least it looks like it's gonna be sufficient. All right, we move on to the next one now. As you can see, it's very quick. If your avatar fits in sufficient, uh, sufficiently, that is. Let me carry it on. This one looks like it's also acceptable. Right, we're using cylinders here for the receivers instead of a spheres, as that models a hand better than a sphere. At least that's what it, to me, that's what it feels like. Oh yeah. You also want to drag this to the roots of the avatar. Same with this one. Now you delete the, this prefab file. And then, then we use the avatar 3.0 manager, which should be up here. Bam. Click here, click on the, your avatar that you want to use. Now find your avatar controller in which, in this case, it's, well, let me just double check. So for me, it's the TV face, as you can see down here. Now I click Add Animator to Merge. Look for the EAHI FX layer, but choose the one that is appropriate for your avatar. If you have right defaults off on your avatar, then you're gonna only use this one. Otherwise, use right defaults on. Uh, by VRChat specifications, your avatars should be uh, right defaults off, but most avatars are right defaults on. So we'll use right defaults on because this one is also right default on. All right, now click Merge on Animator. Go down here, EHI Parameters. Costs about 30 bits, as you can say. Then, all right. If you actually refresh over here, you'll see that it added up. Now, the last thing you want to do, is, well, there's only one thing left, is to add the submenu of EHI to your avatar. So click on your avatar, go down, go to the menu. You can click it over here, we'll take you to it. Main menu, add control, EHI 
menu or or really whatever you want to call it. You might you can add that add a texture if you wish. Switch it just this to a sub menu. Look for the EHI sub menu. This is the one you want to use. All right, all the other menus are connected to this one. Bam. Now just upload the avatar and you're done. You you have successfully integrated the EHI prefab into your avatar. Enjoy. Brought to you by uh, Fake Alkinetti. Fake Alkinetti or Face Alkinetti. Depending on the way you want to pronounce my name, really. Hope to see you in game.